people or, and this is the beauty of America, they can go out and start a job. Exactly. We start, I started this radio station, you know, and I'm, I'm uh, disabled. Now, the question, here's a question for you, or I want your response. Sure. All right, first thing, uh, we sold buildings that we owned and then leased them back. That was a real no-brainer, wasn't it? I mean, tell me about that. And th they actually justify that when we needed the cash now. Well, what are we going to tell our kids when they're still paying for those buildings in 15 years? Well, see, my, my problem of it is, is, is the, the thing that I hear this administration say is that we save jobs with the stimulus bill. No, they postpone unemployment because... The stimulus money is going to run out. Absolutely. The money that has been dumped into our state budget has, is going to run out from the sale of those buildings, but we're still going to have to buy the damn things back. Absolutely. And you know, when they give us that stimulus money from the federal level down to our state, we only get that money once. But they're also taking our hands and they're tying us in the future with some of the mandates they give us that we are going to have to continue paying for it down the years, uh, down the road. And you know what? In Texas, they just spent $3.7 million to weatherize. This is stimulus money. And they weatherized 47 homes. That's worth $3.7 million. Yeah. Now, people don't remember, but Arizona just got $57 million to do the same thing. And out of that $57 million, $37 million went. And it's already been spent in Arizona teaching people how to call I know. <laughs> now, I, you know, one of the other statements that, that, that you know... How that can I, they spend that kind of money for that? Well, it's, I, you know, we're letting them, but the, the thing I, 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 you know, my problem diesel. is this. Our revenue that we have coming into the state of Arizona is at a level, whatever that level is. Maybe it's 2005, 2004. We have a man over here on the side that can answer that question. But it's been reduced down to a level of several years ago. Well, my question is, several years ago, did we have to close our parks? Did we have to close our rest areas? No. And it's that growth of government that you heard here today from some of the candidates and myself that we talked about. When I said that, in like, for instance, in the city of Phoenix, uh, where they have 17,000 employees and over half of them get 100,000 dollars and the problem is, is that in our uh, government... Now, a couple of them are double-dipping, too. Oh, absolutely. We have the police chief in the city of Phoenix who uh, was uh, getting, I think it was $156,000. I'm, I'm not sure on that. But he retired and was hired the very next day as the public safety officer. Exact same duties, exact same job description and everything, but a different title. Only now he has a nice, fat retirement benefit. And this is rampant in our government. It, it is something that we need to really concern ourselves with because the federal re or the state retirement system right now has some severe problems. I have some uh, figures here that I'm scrambling as I'm trying to talk to come up with that I can I can uh, pinpoint and show you on that. My concern is is that you know some of the gubernatorial candidates are talking about uh, uh, getting the sales pa uh, tax uh, sales tax passed and using the funds temporarily, they say, and taxes aren't temporary, they never are. I've no. never seen one yet. 